Hello everyone. We are into part eight already. We're just flying through the turns here. Uh, and last time we had gone to peace at the beginning of the part seven with the green pilgrims. Uh, we went 20 turns with a cold war before we could get peace. Uh, then we got peace and summarily declared war again because they were annoying us and we really want to take them out. They're very weak and we have the ability to take them out. So we're going to take them out and we started doing that and that's going along very well we should have that knocked down by the end of this video and we were also trying to figure out what to do after that because the purple pilgrims and the orange pilgrims are they have a military fairly well built up um, I think with enough firepower uh, we could defeat them and of course it all does depend on how their military is specced um, what kind of weapons are they using more than likely they will be using kinetic but there's a chance that they won't be and um, we really would like to go into if we do go into battle it'd be very nice to know what to expect so that we can uh, build our military around that um, if we decide not to attack, I think we might just go for more a more expansionist uh, victory. Uh, we'll we'll colonize this system over here. These three systems. We'll finally colonize Xanados over here. It's been here for almost the whole entire game. Uh, we started in Sylphi. That this is our home system. Um, and so yeah, uh, let's keep on uh, trucking. And we're 116 turns in, I think. I'm not sure if there's a turn limit on any given game, uh, like I know in Civilization there's a turn limit of around 250, I believe, or something like that. Alright, and we are assimilating Ibony, and let's do our movement. So yep, we're, I'm going to concentrate a lot of our, where did this guy come from? Oh yeah, I remember now. Um, Wow, that is powerful. 3,281. Only seven ships. Um, some fast attackers and some missile attackers, but I think we might have gotten in some nice upgrades. Um, wow. Okay, so the Orange Pilgrims, again, they keep cr trying to um, tell us to give them things without reciprocating anything. So, And they think they can kind of just get away with that, but we might be looking into destroying them as well so <laughs> we'll see and this guy is in so okay so we want to look at more labor that looks good and that'll increase our production on Sylphi so let's take a look around again Ibani needs something to do let's see let's see uh, does it have a moon let's do a moon survey those are always nice. I think I've only gotten one temple so far. Okay, everything looks good. This green fleet should land here and get attacked by our fleet and be utterly decimated. And then that should be the end. And then I'll take this fleet and bring it up here. Oh, also, uh, we should be able to... No, we can't hire him yet. We'll be able to hire him next round when we get a plus two to our academy size. Okay, so we have Takim now, uh, or rather, Cancer has uh, decreased. I'm sorry, we already had Takim, but let us go ahead and take out them. We're going to go auto here because it's absolutely stupid to go th through the battle screen and do all that. So we destroyed them completely, and we'll move over here to help with the invasion. And we made it in one turn. And I'm just going to make sure that everybody does guard and everybody does invasion all right that looks good so we'll keep that going you can see we're about oh I'd say maybe 75% uh, to go to invade and once we do we'll have wiped them out of the galaxy which is awesome so we'll resolve our move we still have this guy going uh, free move not using any any warp gates or wormholes which was a technology upgrade. And now we have Futuristic Game Theory, which gives us um, plus Academy cap, and it reduces our respawn time for heroes as well. Um, and we get a star system improvement for plus 20% influence. That's great. 
Now what I want to start looking at as well is, let's take a look. I just want to look around here a little bit. See if we can see these sensors. Yeah, I know the sensors. I would assume if we upgrade the sensors, it'll tell us if we'll be able to really see things better. Because um, I would really like to see my friend's um, ship makeup. Let's see. This one, this actually might help us increase our fleets. It looks like we get plus two command points per new ship class unlocked. Um, and we did have a couple new ones unlocked, so maybe that'll help us out. So, we'll, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that one. And it's only two turns. All right, that takes care of that. We have a lot going on here. Let's go to Silphi, go to our hangar, create a new fleet bring these guys up here should be good and go back to Silphi and let's see what do we want what do we want how is our we have a lot a lot a lot of uh, military we don't have a lot of high concentration military powers but for now I think we'll, we'll be okay um, is there anything we can really build that will really really help um, we could go with uh, more science and influence area as big as it is so I don't think that that will have much and this will increase our science as well this is dust stuff dust or this is trade route bonuses yeah let's do that as well and that'll only take three turns so that's a very low risk high reward very good Let's go to Way. And let's see what we can do here. They're happy. They don't have a lot of dust. And this is per explored moon. We only have one explored moon right here. It's empty. Um, this is minus to buy out. This is food. I guess we will go with this right now. And then. I mean, we're, yeah, we don't have a lot of production here, which is unfortunate. Okay, that's fine for now. And let's go to Daikon. Create that fleet. And let's see if we can do some merging here. We have fast attack, missile, missile, and let's see. Missile, missile, fast, fast, missile, repair. So let's go. Let's merge these two. And let's merge these two. And then let's merge these two. That looks good. Gaikon needs something else to do, and they are, they have a lot of things pretty well. This would increase our science and dust, so let's go with that, and it'll only take three turns. Yersh needs something to do. There's plenty to do on Yersh. Nothing immediate for production, or industry rather. I always get those <sighs> confused. I always say production, industry, I mean it's the same thing, but... Maybe production is more of a civilization term. Let's see. We have discovered that moon. Let's go, let's see, tiny and small. We have two smalls, so that would increase that. Yeah, let's go for that right now. That'll only take two turns. I think that takes care of everything. Yes, it does. And let's end the turn. anything going on we're we're just chugging away really quickly I think the more power we have on a system the faster we um, we will uh, colonize it or uh, rather in invade it so let's resolve our movement and also our scout is up here we should well we already have we pretty much see all their their entire military here which is very very powerful Let's see if we can. Actually, if we we are researching, let's see. If we research, da, 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 where is it? Where is it? It's 
that scanning thing? Where is it over here? Do we already research it? Are we researching it? Yeah. Ability to spy all fleets orbiting this system. Okay. It's just orbiting. I was thinking it might be in within the sphere of, uh, sphere of influence. So that way we could actually see exactly what's there. Um, let me take my scout and just pop him over here anyway. And see if we can get any insight whatsoever. Mm, we found an empty moon. Silphi is going to do that next. So Takim needs some stuff to do. Takim is... Yeah, let's just shove infinite supermarkets on there for now. That seems good. Let's dismiss that and go to the next turn. We'll finish our research this next turn. Nothing much happening. The purple pilgrims are basically really just kind of scouting out our stuff. and hmm, They want Hyperium and they will give us or 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 a chal six or or a chal six. Hang on one second. I want to see how much Hyperium we have, which is this one. We have a lot of Hyperium, so I think that's a good thing to do. We don't want to be pissing these guys off. If anything, we kind of want to go after the orange guys first, orange pilgrims. They seem to have the lesser. Um, it might be the path of least resistance. So we're going to accept that. We have quantum communication now, which gives us the star system improvement. And we get plus two uh, command points per new ship class unlocked. So let's actually take a look at if... Yes, excellent. That is a very useful technology. I definitely should have gone for that one a little earlier. Although, it is fairly deep in the uh, diplomacy and trading tree. Uh, I don't know if it's as deep as that first command point one, which was here, I believe. Yes, here. So it actually is a little deeper. Um... So it actually makes sense, but it's based on how many ship classes you've unlocked. So all of a sudden we've gone from having, being able to have seven command points uh, on our fleet to 11. So that's, that's very good. In fact, we can merge both these guys right now and make a huge fleet, 2968, and we can do the same over here. Uh, we might have to do some more breakdown. Um, Yes, this is, let's see here. So we have 7 out of 11. Do we have a repair ship here? No, we don't. Let's pull a repair ship off of here and merge that with this guy. And let's see, these are all fast ones, missiles, no dreadnoughts. But our dreadnought is our least effective, but it might be a good idea to pair. And so what we can do is we can merge these two, and then we need one more might be worth it to get a repair no i think we'll stick with one repair ship per fleet for now and what i'll do is i'll create that one and we'll merge these together so that's one fleet a extremely high military power 4539 which is more than i've seen anywhere here so it's pretty much unbeatable um at least in terms of uh, missile attack alone you can see the missile military power, or rather missile. And we actually have fast attack two. I thought we upgraded that. Okay, we do have fast attack two. Okay, that's fine. And let's uh, continue to merge some. We have. Okay, let's get rid of one fast. Oh, let's see how many dreadnoughts are in here. One. Let's get rid of this dreadnought. And let's merge this two with this seven. That gives us fast attack, fast attack. It looks like three fast attack, a dreadnought, uh, four fast attack rather, uh, two missile a repair and a dreadnought. So that's cool. And we actually have space for more, I believe. Yes, we do. We have three, uh, two more spots, and we could throw a dreadnought in there. In fact, let's do that. And then we could. This is dreadnought, fast attack, fast attack, fast attack, dreadnought. So we do need a repair ship in there. So that's good, and let's go with, uh, let's get rid of that one, and one more, this fast attack one, and now we will merge these together, and 
we will merge these together. All right, we're a little bit better. Uh, we could probably could have done this a little bit easier over here, perhaps. Um, but now we're merged together a little bit more logically, a little bit more cleanly. And once these guys come up here, we can probably make another fleet. But let's take a look at our fleet power. Our, our highest uh, military power right now is 4,539 with uh, a good mix um, of fast attack, missile attack, uh, dreadnought in there, um, and a repair ship in there. And this one is uh, a pretty good mix. Actually, we can fit one more ship in there. Let's go over here and pull this guy off here and do a merge right here. Okay, so now we have that, which increases that effectiveness very well. So that's great. Um, just the sheer size of our fleets is enough to overcome any any. Uh, anybody in the orange I would say very easily and perhaps even the purple if we're tenacious enough okay let's go over here so we have that big 11 out of 11 and then we have one here and then we have three coming up here and that might prompt me to do a little more military research and then fill out that fleet so we will end up having let's see one out of 11 one out of 11 oh this is our scout correct yes let's actually rename this to a Scout fleet. No, we don't have enough. Uh, Scout FLT. Just so we know. And so we have 5 out of 11, 1, 6, that would be 9. So we could make one a 9 out of 11. Uh, <laughs> not 11. <coughs> anyway, um, we could make one that is 9 ships out of a possible 11 ships. Um, and then we could fill it out with a dreadnought or perhaps two more fast movers or if we need a repair ship We could do that as well. Let's actually resolve our movement. Yes. Okay. We finally finished um, These guys where are they here I believe um, Dreadnought 2, Dreadnought 2, Airship 2, no, no. They might not have arrived yet. I thought we didn't retrofit them yet So they wouldn't uh, Oh, They might be in the hangar. No, nope, they aren't in the hangar Let's continue on. We'll figure that out later. Yeah. Okay, we have. When we did some merges, it looks like we lost our our guard. It's all right. And actually, let's see if we can retrofit. I don't think we can retrofit. Yeah, we can't retrofit on the on that screen. But we can do that there, and then that should be all set. Make sure. That's good. Awesome. And other than that, we can't do... Oh, we can do some merging. So we have uh, three missile attack, and we have repair ship and two dreadnought. That's a pretty good mix. So we'll merge that together. I'll take a look again. Uh, we have our Epsilon, which is a fast attack, which is at Cancer right now. And we're actually going to go over there and send him over here so we can merge him up. And with that, we'll have basically full fleets except for this one so we can... And that one has a repair ship, so we can put some fast attack ships in there. So that'll be good. So right now, on try, how's our, no, we don't have very good pr uh, industry there. We have pretty good industry here. So let's create two fast attack. Yeah, two fast attack. That's great. Um, we also finished up uh, the plus 25% per trade routes on Trim and Ida. So let's go and choose a new thing our approval is good here and these are plus one on tiny plus two uh plus one on small and we are maxed out so that's probably a good idea and let's see ita needs something to do and i bet we still can't colonize here yeah there's still some kind of bug and i'll keep checking that i'm sorry but i will keep checking it <laughs> um this one we could go, yeah, this is good. Yep, we want this. That's for more production. And yep, that's good for now. Let's double check, looks good. And we did get our research, like I was saying. Over here, our plus two, we were looking at that when we were doing all that merging. And let's take a look at what else we can do now. Let's see, waste this, da -da -da -da. I think, let's take another look at 
more military. Plus 120 invasion military power. That would be useful. Let's go with that, and then we'll go with. This. I think I have two ships. There we go. Okay, those will only take two turns, so it should be a quick. Let's just go ahead and end the turn. All right. Anything happening? Anything happening? We are about. We are very close. Maybe one or two more turns from completely taking over the Green Pilgrims, which will be a very great victory for us. Let's take a look at our supremacy victory is at 25% and our expansion victory is at 73%. And what is he doing over here? Okay, he's just scouting out. Just want to make sure. Yep, we created that fast attack. We'll send him over here. We will merge these up. So we have fast attack, two fast attacks. We'll merge that up and we'll merge that with this. And so that leaves us with one more, which is going to be this fast attack ship over here. And that'll give us a nice mix of missile. Three missiles, a couple fast attack, and two dreadnoughts. Excellent. And some pretty good military strength here. Now, I'm wondering if there's a benefit or a disadvantage to having everything completely merged into a com uh, completely full fleet. Because the AI seems to be favoring sparsely pop Well, there are a couple of large ones. Yeah, so maybe I should hold my tongue there. And again, once again, we cannot see past just the military power and the movement points and the command points uh, and our research actually we were able to do tw two at the same time or twice in the same term because we have so much research points and that's something important to look out for when you see a lot of ones uh, one turn things you might want to consider queuing up a couple of them because you might get lucky like I just did and I got two so I got HE batteries which gives me this cool support module for invasion, which will help for our invasion. And it gives us uh, a reflective isotopes, which is defense module for laser damage. We also get a new weapon module for laser. So we might want to look at doing some upgrades on our, on our, on our designs. And in fact, I'm going to do the same thing right here and see if I can, well, it does say two, but I think it did say two last time as well. But this one takes 680 research, and this one takes 680 as well. And we are total making, well, I'd have to sum all this up, and it doesn't give us a good, you know, it doesn't immediately tell us, I don't think. Um, if I hold things over, no, it gives us our total fits. You see in that third box over current status below that title, you see our dust, our tax rate, and then our fits, and that's the total for everything per turn. But we don't get, um, oh, and actually we do see our economic victory condition there as well. And I'm sure if we were to do scientific, it would show up here. So these are just, the victories show up on the respective menus. Oh, and diplomatic as well. That's cool. I didn't know that. Cool. Ooh, we have a manager on here. That's interesting. I don't, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to turn that off. That might have been on there from the AI. And, of course, we find an empty moon, and we have plenty to do, so Sylphi. Spy all fleets orbiting the system. Let's see, let's see. Let's go for... Let us go for... What's the best course of action here? How's our dust per turn? Plus 62, very good. Uh, and I believe we, yeah, we've done all the moons here. I'm not gonna check, I know that's true. And let's take a look at our exploits to make sure they're good. This is Arctic, is Arctic? No, Arctic would be better. It would be better to have that there. Yeah, I think I threw it on there just because there was no benefit. We didn't have the upgraded exploit, so I just kind of threw it on there. Let's, let's take a look at Gaikon. Now, Gaikon is this one here, and I want to I wanna test out this uh, collaborator networks to see about spying on fleets, just to see if maybe we'll be able to spy this one. We'll see. Just want to test. Okay, so here... Our approval is way down. 
So let's go for colonial rights. That will take a while, but we don't really have anything more we can do to increase our industry. Um, so yeah, let's just do that. And that's about it. Let's end the turn. And yes, we finally done it. I think we finally done it. Yes. Excellent. Empire elimination. Friend or enemy? It would be good to check your neighbors, enemies, and alliances. Another empire has been destroyed, and the race for domination of the galaxy narrows. Yes. We have done it. And all of a sudden, our supremacy went up by 25% there. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Um, but obviously, I mean, 25% was us, and then 25% was the other one, and I assume the other 50% are these guys here. So the supremacy would be pretty difficult to take care of. Um, so now we have four units of Mercurite, so we get plus 40% ship XP on Empire. That's great. Uh, we probably got that because, yes, we took over this system, and this planet, which was colonized, had Mercurite on it. Very good. And we upgraded our uh, fleet hero who was probably over here uh, in fact he had yes he was definitely over here because we put him over here because he had plus 70 percent invasion military power and let's see so we could get some sensor uh just one point okay we could get some sensor increase we could get some defense healing melee some balance fleet and star system Let's go with the let's go with balance. See where that where that takes us. We'll see. Okay. Yes, we were able to again research two uh, technologies last turn. So now we have uh, improved flak defense, so the melee defense, and we have improved uh, medium range defense. So let's go and keep on going see if we can I don't think there's any more ones that we can crank out just real quick yeah everything's fairly low I'm surprised we were yeah that's surprising um I would like to get here these missiles are 15 compared to 21 the weight is around the same and 20% critical 25% critical these have much more damage, I'm guessing. Yes, these have much more damage. So let's actually go toward this, these ones. Uh, so this will give us a star system improvement for initial ship HP, the, so that's cool. And we'll also get reflective armor. And then we're going to go for better missiles. And I do like the missiles. The missiles, missiles, however you want to pronounce it. Okay, so on Silphi, we finished that. Let's actually make sure our other planets have the right exploits on them. Yep, that's good. And Tundra, I believe. Yes, that's good for Tundra. And let's see. Let's go with... Hmm. We have kind of low food here um, for such a production-heavy planet. Um, but it would really be nice to... And we have so much industry we could just really crank out some more stuff but i think i'm going to wait a couple turns on that to improve our designs a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and do that um so for now let's go with that to increase our food yersh produce that fast attack ship so we will send that up here and do some merging and then our scout fleet is up here and so we have one out of ten a one out of eleven and ten out of eleven we will go ahead and merge those and now we're going to send all our ships over here. So we're going to select all, send them all over here. Excellent. And we're also going to take these guys and send them all over here. Uh, and they are all out of movement, so that's why we can't. All right. Now Yersh needs something else to do. Let's take a look. Let's go ahead. They're ecstatic, so we don't really need to worry about that. Um, we 
let's increase the influence area. Let's see what that does. I know yours is fairly small. Yeah, actually, or yours is pretty small. I don't think that's really a useful, very useful to do that. Um, we have one moon, so that would increase our dust a little bit, but it takes three turns. Let's increase our food by just a, a little bit. Takes care of that. And let's end the turn. Alright. Let's look around. Let's look around. He's got some more scouts moving around. Let's do our movement there. Now our huge lots of fleets right there. Um, let me take a look again. Yep, we have, so we have five fleets of max command points. Um, and actually, before I forget, uh, let's go ahead and recruit this guy because we can now. So we're going to hire him and we are going to, where is he? No assignment. So we're going to assign him to a fleet and get him earning XP as fast as possible. We're going to assign him to the next largest fleet, which looks like this one. So we have three fleets with commanders on them now. And actually, in fleet, in fleet, in fleet, in system. Okay, we'll keep this guy in the system uh, because he is pretty good for doing that. All right, so Sylphi and Yersh need something to do. And again, I don't, I wanna wait to improve our ships. It's 25. Some influence area on star system. I think so if I had to do this one. So that would increase it a little bit, but let's see here. We have a bunch of moons. Let's go for this. Plus three per moon, so that'll give us plus six. So that'll be a nice little boost. And Yersh needs something to do. And Yersh, yes, that's right. Yersh is. There's that one moon. Ooh, we have one moon. Yeah, let's just do that. That's fine. Alright, Cancer needs something to do. I think we forgot about Cancer completely. Which would be nice to do in real life, too. <laughs> we keep it real here. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our approval is fairly low. So we're gonna... Yeah, we have enough industry for this not to be a bother. And let's actually take look at everything cancer yes and Miker is on a strike as well do we own it yes we do own it so we'll actually need to work on that yes that's right we are increasing our production our industry here rather so we'll have to work on that and ebony we don't own it yet so that's pretty much why it's going on there okay so let's take a look around and make sure we're good we're good we should finish a research in the next turn We have a research for active defenses. Now we're going to focus plasma. In three turns, that's when I'll start to update my designs, and that's when I'll start to build another, a whole nother fleet. And now the pilgrims are again hassling us for titanium. We're going to ignore them. Sylphi, let's let's just go ahead and build the. Uh, let's try to get them up to ecstatic to improve some things. And let's also. Actually, let's go with uniform shielding first, and then and then we'll go with actually. This would actually probably be the better one to go for approval. It'll it'll take us two turns rather than one, but it'll be better in the long run, and we won't have to actually build these unless we we get bored. Okay, let's go to way. Let's see. Once again, I think I want to. I don't want this, I'm not really going to be building ships here, like I've said in the past, it doesn't have a lot of industry and it's very far away. So let's just go with, and it's going to take 10 turns, uh, yeah, but it'll be, it'll be worth it, maybe. Way is way out of the way anyway. Wow. Wow, I used, oh, <laughs> that was impressive. I'll let you guys uh, soak that in. I think I'm going to give myself a pat on the back for that. All right, and where are we now, Treem? right here again I think what we'll do is we will go for 
colonial rates and then we will go for a uniform wow we don't have a lot of industry again we might want to look into improving that as well okay let's go to Gaikon and this is where we really want uniform shielding no matter what because this is our right here we're going to be spawning most of our ships here building most of our ships there and Ita just finished its industry so we now have much better industry so we can start looking at um, doing some better things we have a lot a bad dust problem and we don't have any trade routes set up that's interesting where is Ida Ida's right here hmm. I guess it doesn't have a direct route to a trade hub or something like that or there's not enough nodes to go around let's see here uh, we still can't colonize that sucks okay let's see here Let's go with, oh, our food needs to be a lot better. So let's go with, uh, oh, it looks like we already have all the food ones. Well, there are a couple, well, we have one moon, so we'll get plus three on that. That is pretty expensive, though. Plus two on explored moon and minus three on improvement, which gives us minus one. So that's completely not worth it. It's worth it if we have a lot of moons, but we don't. Let's go with. Oh, I don't know. This is tough. Let's go with more science. Sure, why not? Let's just throw science at the problem. I think that looks good. All right, and continue on. Gershon Takim finished their projects. So Yersh is now ecstatic, or they were before, I can't remember. Plus three food on Explored Moon. Hmm, this gives us a lot of food. Yeah, let's go for something that's quick. For only a couple turns. That one looks good because we're going to be cranking out ships very, very soon. And let's go for, well, I would say another trade route, but we're not getting one anyway. So let's just go for, yeah, let's go for this food. So that should take care of that. End the turn. And very soon we'll also have access to another hero, which will be good. What's our dust doing? Wow, that's a lot. Get away with the tracking. We could, but does it really help? Not a lot. Okay, we'll keep that like that. We have a level up for our system manager. Let's take a look at what we can do. Main cost, melee, battle action, offense, wit. And I guess we go with this. I mean, that's pretty much the best choice at this point. Okay, so yours finished that up. And now let's go with. <laughs> let's go with. <laughs> let's go with Hardenberg. And on Cancer, we are. <coughs> Cancer's doing pretty good for uh, somebody on Strike. So we will go ahead and at least. There's no negative numbers. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of um, dust here, and that's because of this mercurite. Three, uh, three units of mercurite gives us plus three per person on the planet. So we have six people times three, times three. So that's eighteen times three, which is great. And it is also a jungle, which I think gives us plus two anyway per person on the planet. So that's awesome. So let's go with uh, let's go with the uh, unlimited information highways to improve uh, improve our approval a little bit. So that takes care of that. So our ships are still chilling. Now I am kind of afraid. Well, I'm not completely afraid. We might need just a couple ships to just kind of go around and deal with all these scouts. But then again, we're not going. All right, we're not going for purple. 
to purple first. What we're gonna do, purple kind of, well, they're trending downwards. Um, let's see why. Expansion, Tense Frontiers, yeah. They are fond of us, but it's going down. And these guys are neutral toward us, but it's going up. Long-term peaceful status. And oh, open borders. Hmm, interesting. And of course, we killed this guy. <laughs> we got him back for all the wrongs he did to our people. All right, so we're going to finish out that research. So now, 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 now. I don't think we really need to. We shall see, however. Let's see. That looks pretty good. And uh, accelerated magnetics. Looking for anything and any everything and anything that'll improve. Let's go. Actually, let's look for industry improvements. This is a exploitation so that'll increase industry and we'll also get some advanced containers which will at a cost at an increased cost it'll increase our tonnage which is nice and we'll also get this barrier card so let's go this way that looks good looks like a good choice and now Yersh uh, which has a fair good deal of uh, industry so we actually let's see what we want to do now Actually, okay, let me look at Ida again. Yeah, we're not going to be building ships on here, so I can take care of this right now and just knock this out. Uh, just give it something to do. Once again, its food is fairly bad, but we don't have any way to combat that right now. I think what we'll do is give it some more science, and then we will give it... more hmm. influence perhaps no we'll, we'll keep it there all right now we're going to uh, minimize that and we're going to go upgrade our main ships here so our attack sh our repair ship i just want to make sure precision plating is that the best we can do yes it is okay and our long range sensors did we increase that yet no, we didn't. Where can we increase that? Let's see. It's up here. We just get plus six. I don't think it's really all that important right now. So let's go ahead and upgrade our fast attack. Now, I do believe we have better... No, we do. We don't have better kinetic attack. And we don't have better precision plating. Do we have better speed? Uh, no, I don't believe we do. We have better lasers. I do know that. Yes, we do. So I'm going to get rid of these two lasers and these two torpedoes and then put on two new lasers and two new torpedoes. Excellent. Now, what we were, were we at? We were at 202. Okay. Just want to make sure. The changes are simple. So. so let's go ahead and apply that. And uh, let's go to our dreadnought. Modify that. And what we're going to do is check. So we're going to get rid of those torpedoes and we're going to just max it out. Excellent. Now this is very expensive, but we have the industry. We can build it. Now, actually, what were we at? Um, 366. And doing that brings us up to six, 700 and something. So we absolutely go through the roof. Or what was the cost? We actually, we, we almost double the cost, but I think in the long run, it will be worth it. And actually, what we might want to do is tone this back and just slap everything good stuff on it. Oh, we do have slugs, actually, already. Duh. Okay, so we have five and five. So actually, what we want to do is, are these fusion? No, the plasma torpedoes are the new ones. I want to slap some, one, two, three, four, five. Let's slap some of those on there and then go for... Okay, and now let's just kind of add, add. Okay, actually, I do want to get rid of 
those before those. Okay, excellent. So we have seven more. We could throw another... Um, <laughs> six. No, it's not really worth it. Let's go ahead and apply this. Six, six, six. I like that. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty funny how that works out. Um, I do think if we had just strapped the missiles on there, it might have been more uh, military power overall. But we would like kind of more balanced attack. I think at this point. In fact, um, and actually with this guy. I think what we want to do is, and, and it might be a good idea actually to go back to our dreadnought, modify it, and take off enough. Yeah, let's take off enough to put in this module for invasion, um, which will be good. And can we fit any other weapons? Yes, we can. Okay, we can put our... Yes, our one torpedo back on there. Excellent. So let's go with that. And now our missile ship. We're going to get rid of these fusion torpedoes and go with the new torpedoes. And we can only fit six, but we went from 318... Hang on. 318 to... And actually, we said... So we're at 184, 318... And now we're going to 205, 378. It's not a huge difference. Um, in fact, we could even drop some. Let's see, this gives us pl uh, plus 18 in military power, and these give us plus 45. So let's drop one precision plating and throw on another missile. I'm not sure how that'll work out, but we'll give it a shot anyway. And those were all our all our designs so let's go ahead and start retrofitting and this might get expensive but it will be worth it so let's go in order of power so this is going to cost 912 this is going to cost 906 and i don't think we'll be able to do it anymore no we won't but we are gaining a lot plus 184 per turn and the next bunch of ships that we're going to be creating will all have those stats so that's okay and we could actually retrofit individually in fact i think i'm going to do that until almost all my dust has been spent let's see this might be a horrible idea but we shall see um and what i want to do it looks like they colonized Antares finally. They decided to just go with it. Now what I want to do is take all my fleets here. All of them. Very, very powerful. And actually, let me go to your... Sh yes, that's right. We're going to start uh, building more, at least one more fleet. Um, so what I want to do is I know I want at least one repair ship. And I know I want at least one of those. So that's good for now. And that takes care of that. We have all that going. Excellent. So let's end the turn. And let's start sending our scout over here to survey. Now these guys are fairly weak compared to our... There's a lot of them. And if they were to consolidate into more into uh, fleets, it might be a little... Um, they might be a little more daunting, but they're not. In fact, this is their best one right here, 1850. Um, so let's actually start, start the process. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go here first. Check how much movement we have. We're gonna wait a turn to recharge our movement. And we finished that repair ship there. So we'll keep everything on Gaikon. So we'll send them over to Gaikon. All of our fleets are over here. Nope, that's just our scout. Our scout should be able to get out quickly once the battle begins. And let's just do a score check here. Yep, we're fairly close to purple, but we are well ahead of, pro of orange, so that should be fairly easy to take him over. Let's go to Silphi. This is where we're going to do a lot of our building. So let's see. What we want is a dreadnought and a missile. And a fast. And another dreadnought. That looks good. 
and Miker is one of our little uh, invaded colonies, invaded star systems. So we're not going to get much done there um, in terms of production industry. And actually, we do we have a we finally have a trade route set up. So I'm going to do that and do that, and that'll increase some science and dust, which is good. And Ita is doing fairly well. Their um, their food is kind of down a little bit, um, but if we were to so we have medium small, medium small. We have two small. No, we only have one small colonized. So the um, this endothermic structures wouldn't really benefit us all that much. I think I want to go with. Um, let's see. <laughs> Let's just go with, oh, I don't know. This is tough, because I could, I mean, I could build these things, but, you know, the dust will go down, and our dust is low as it is. So let's actually turn industry into dust, just to offset some of that. And I've got to make a note that i got to come back here, because the last time I put infinite on something was Silphi, and Silphi was our best producer, and all of a sudden we have a pirate over here. Oh, crud. Is he big? Not that big. Okay, what we want to do is make note of that, and uh, we'll probably send a fleet over to take care of them. Yeah, that's, I guess that's what happens when you don't colonize. Pirates will just spawn at neutral, neutral sites. Okay, so we took care of all that. We've got this guy up here. We've got our fleets going over here, and we're going to have our scout looking out a little bit more. So let's go ahead and end the turn. We're getting close to the end of the video, so maybe we, we will get to the point where we will de uh, declare war, which would be great. So our level 14 commander in Fleet Iota has uh, leveled up, so let's take a look at what we can do. Hmm. Let's go with some melee. That looks good. And we finished out that science, uh, this research rather, because we're going for a this planetary exploitation upgrade so we can do some better production uh, industry. I always say that, I, I do apologize, but you know, it's the same thing. So, you know, and these guys actually, that's pretty threatening. That's pretty threatening over there, I have to say. Um, but we can deal with it, we're going to deal with it. We are not going to back down. So on Treem, we're not going to be building much here. In fact, I think we're just going to do some dust for now. On Yersh, we just finished that attack ship. And now we're going to go for a Dreadnought. Send these guys up here. And we'll merge these together. Two out of eleven there. And Sophie has a okay. It has a dreadnought in there. Send him up to Gaikon as well. And Gaikon needs something to do. And we are going to build a missile attack ship. So that takes care of all that. We're gonna resolve our movement. We're gonna take a look again just to make sure this is pretty. Uh, intimidating, but we're going to send our scout over here. And we're going to send what we want to do is we want to send our least, our s yeah, our least powerful, which would be this one. We're going to send them to Yersh to deal with the pirates, and they have zero out of ten left. That's fine. And let's see. I think we're going to start. Doing some battles now. I think it's time. I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start war. We're going to do a, maybe a turn or two of war, and then I think that's going to be the end of this video. They do like us, um, so let's see what we can do. <laughs> let's see if we can get some stuff out of them. So we want that, and we want that. Uh, objective. Alright, you know what? 
we are now at war. All right. So our biggest force is going to be sent up here. And as you can see, we're absolutely going to decimate them. So we're going to go auto here. We're probably not going to lose anybody. And actually, let's start taking a look. Yes, it was all kinetic. I knew it. I knew it was all kinetic. Excellent. And if you looked, I think I closed it a little too soon. And we're also going to smack these guys too. Okay, they do have a little bit of missile. Okay, that might be a problem for us because we don't have any missile um, defense. So we might have to modify our designs. We'll see how this goes. See if we lose anybody. Yes, okay. We did lose one missile attack ship. We still have our repair ship, so hopefully that'll help. Um, but that's okay. And again, let's see. They do have missile. And we're just going to go auto here again. And we should be able to eliminate them. We might lose another ship. Okay, we lose, lost two fast attack and one missile ship. So we are getting a little bit um, hit, hit pretty hard here. Um, but we have taken out a good chunk of their forces and we can just replace those ships very very easily in fact these ships right here should and this uh, and the ships coming should be fine 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 okay so we do have um, the opportunity to attack and let's take a look these are all okay there's a missile there but we are going to go auto might lose a repair ship no we lost one dreadnought okay so we are defeating them at the cost of you know some of our fleets um, but that was gonna happen we knew that was gonna happen and now we can send in some of our cleanup crew so we'll send this guy over here and let's go back over here and this guy will attack and yeah, they started to get smart and do some missile attack. And we don't have any missile defense whatsoever, so that is why why we are suffering some losses. And we actually have two repair ships on there. Okay, so we lost one missile attack ship. See, we're doing massive amounts of da uh, damage. It's just incredible. And let's clean up a little bit more. Let's send this guy over here. We'll go ahead and... Now this is a fairly substantial force, a couple missiles, not too bad, we'll go auto again just to resolve it. I think we're going to end up taking out a lot of their fleet on this, just this first attack turn. Excellent, we actually didn't lose anybody, that's very very good. And for good measure, I think this guy is heading toward this one, so this should be, uh, this guy's heading toward this system, so that should be alright, and we'll send in this guy to clean up a little bit more, just one last little hurrah, and once again, it looks like we're going up against, yes, we're going up against no missiles whatsoever, so we should, we should decimate here, even though the military power isn't as unbalanced, yes, we should absolutely decimate, yep. All right, excellent. So this is our scout, and all of our five full fleets attacked. Our main one that had 6,000 military power did get fairly beaten up, but we completely removed all those ships, um, which is great. And all we have to deal with now is this uh, fleet coming in, and they don't have the military power to, uh, to stand up against us, which is great. Let me check the time. I think we're, yes, we're getting close to the end. So that was a great turn to end on. Let's go ahead and upgrade our fleet commanders. This guy leveled up four, uh, three times, which is great because he's low level. So we want him to be great. Uh, we're going to go offense, defense, and then we are going to go with, uh, we have a hero ability. We have a battle action, and we have another battle action. Let's just go with uh, some more offense there. So let's dismiss that. And our other fleet commander went up to level 15. So let us go ahead and go for some more. Let's go for some healing. That might be very, very useful. All right. Um, I think that's going to do it. Oh, actually, let us. What time is. 
we can go a little bit over. Let's go ahead and just take out, this is 2450, oh, military power against these guys. So let's go, oops, did I do that? Oh, he only has 0 out of 10, so we might have to wait for the next turn. Um, oh, and we also have a pirate sh fleet coming in here as well. That might mess things up quite nicely, but they don't invade, so I think that'll be all right. All right, so that was an excellent first round of war. I think we were very successful in taking out the majority of Purple Pilgrims' uh, troops, or their fleets, rather. And so what we should uh, s do next time, uh, in the next video, what we'll be doing is we'll be taking out the rest of Purple Pilgrims' troops. We'll be repelling some of these pirates, and we will be starting our invasion on all these planets. And our, our Dreadnoughts have that new invasion support module, so hopefully invasion will take a lot less time. All right. Hope you join me in the next video. Thanks for watching.